Hi, it's Dwyer. It's April 16th, 2021. Uh, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk Gervonta Davis trying to take on a champion at 140 pounds, Mario Barrios. Just preliminary thoughts. I have not seen the odds for the fight yet. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, first glance, without breaking down film that much, I want to encourage people to look at the fourth round, the fourth round of Barrios's fight against Bakter Akhmedov, right? Bakter Akhmedov. I have that fight in my favorites folder. Right now, let me just say, this fight is a tale of two fights. Barrio starts to get shelled later in the fight. He does get tired. He is forced onto his back foot. But if you look at this film, you're going to see him against a shorter southpaw. Understand, Akhmedov is an accomplished guy from the amateur ranks. He was 7-0 at the time he fights Barrios. Right, but he was accomplished as an amateur. He has a high motor, he's coming forward. I'm not saying he hits as hard as Gervonta Davis, but of course, Davis's power at 140 is an open question. Right, we don't know what Davis's power is gonna be because Davis doesn't have experience in the weight class. Let me just say this about Mario Barrios. He's a ringer. In other words, this is a guy who used to be a sparring partner for Amir Khan. He has a lightning fast. It's lightning fast. Left hook counter. Right, lightning fast. What makes the fourth round interesting is that it's in a foreign language, so you can't hear what the announcer's saying. But it's clear that Badios hurts Akhmedov. Right, he hurts him. Then you're going to notice accuracy. In other words, he hurts him. I believe it's with a left hook. He has an excellent left hook. Might even be fighting inverted. Then you're going to notice he's on his front foot. This is the 5'10 guy at 140 who wants to be in the pocket with you. right? I'd prefer if he had a different center of gravity, if he could lean backwards. But this is a guy who wants to be in the pocket with you. And the key is... When he hurts his southpaw opponent, he's able to come in with straight, clean, accurate right hands. I think this guy's underrated my initial impression, especially when I look in his corner and I see Virgil Hunter as his trainer, right? That's a tip-off that this guy has a lot of good things going on. I see Virgil Hunter... As his trainer, he is one of the champions at 140 pounds. He has been severely tested. The Akhmedov fight, the last part of which is probably his worst moments in the ring, right? He somehow, in the 12th round, as he's getting beaten up, in my opinion, drops his opponent with about 30 seconds left in the fight, wins the fight by unanimous decision. In other words, this guy has been through fire, and the guy has survived, right? I'm guessing because the public knows Gervonta Davis, you're going to get spectacular odds on Mario Barrios. And I'm just telling you, if the guy has been in with Amir Khan, if the guy is hanging around the Virgil Hunter gym, and if the guy has a lightning quick left hook like this guy has with the ability to counter. You notice he's an accomplished counter puncher and he has a decent KO percentage. This fight against Gervonta Davis who doesn't have experience at 140 is going to be spirited. Right? At first glance I'm guessing the play here given this guy's accuracy is Barrios to win hedged with Davis by KO. Right? The one thing I don't like with Barrios is the same thing I don't like with Jaron Ennis. Right? These are tall guys leaning over the pocket. I'm someone who's a little bit biased. I prefer the Vitaly Klitschko technique, where you're 
using height. If I'm 5'10 at 140, the other guy should have to find my head, go through a great jab. This guy has a jab, but he doesn't use it to pummel an opponent. Right? He wants to trade with you. He wants to throw left hook counters. Against a puncher like Gervonta Davis, that opens the door to a possible KO. Right? Mario Barrios has my attention. Understand, this guy's dangerous, folks. With this level of countering skill, this guy might stop Davis, right? Because the knock on Davis is great power. Not a lot of great boxing, right? People look at his fight against Yorkis Gamboa and they say, how could Gamboa with a bad Achilles make it well and deep into the fight against a young slugger like Davis, right? And so let's just say there are critics of Davis this guy Barrios looks like a ringer to me. I just saw a fight where he hit a guy with a left body shot and was so fluid with the combination that the guys at ringside, and they included Lennox Lewis, weren't clear on whether Barrios won the fight by body shot or by the right hand he hit him with after the devastating body shot. You literally had to look at the replay to see the combination. In other words, Barrios has extremely fast hands. He fights in bursts. His fight against Davis is a real fight. Understand, Barrios is an unbeaten champ. Keep an eye out for this fight. It's just been announced. We'll track it as it develops, as we learn more about it, okay? But Barrios looks like the real deal to me. And, of course, when I see a young guy who looks like the real deal, who has real deal countering skills, then I'm finding out he's been in the ring with former champions, and I look in his corner and I see a superstar trainer. Let's just say <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that his side of the play is the right side of the play. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.